It's Christmas of 98. The only present I got was a corn cob. Not corn. Just a cob. So someone ate the corn? Apparently. And then gave it to him? It's a corn cob. He got trash for Christmas. He named him Peaches. It's a weird corn name. I got attached to that corn cob. And then my mother threw him out. Because yeah, it was trash. <laughs> yeah, but that's the only gift you gave him? Like, I feel like that would turn me evil. That's your it? origin story? <laughs> I don't know. Why well, is there water in that? I don't know. I don't live here. <laughs> I think it's water. Welcome back. That's everybody. my origin story. <laughs> to another episode of Somewhere in the Ground. Today we're doing evil geniuses plots. Because, you know, I've been thinking, shit's expensive. And I need to find a way on how to afford shit, you know? Rent and easy pass. Mostly easy pass. So, I have a plot. Everything is you dry wet. over there? You no. good? <laughs> what the yeah, my fuck? bad. I thought that shit was empty, bro. That's crazy. Look before you slap. I would just slap the more in your direction. That would have been great for content. <laughs> um, so, all right. My super evil genius plot. That's honestly, it's foolproof. It really is. I'm going to go on the dark web. Okay. It's got to be the dark web. So it's not traceable. No. Yeah. Can't have this shit coming back to me. Can't be in a bright web. The bright web? But, yeah. There's a bright web. The regular web. The regular web. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, I'm going to buy up massive amounts of bed bugs. Right? Bed bugs? Bed bugs. Bed bugs. <laughs> Bed motherfucking bugs, you little bitch, okay? Shut up. So, why, you may ask? No. Hold on to your butts, I'm about to tell you. About to get spicy. So, I'm going to start breeding the motherfuckers, right? But I'm going to start breeding them to be immune to the common ways of how you kill bed bugs. And breed in a weakness that only I know. Something vile, like disgusting, like terrible that nobody would ever think of. Like, you know, peanut butter breath or some shit like that. You know, chewing your mouth open on the first date kind of shit, right? They're going to be weak to something that only I know. So you're going you're gonna to give them an ick? Yeah. <laughs> so so I'll, only I know how to kill these motherfuckers. Then I'm going to release them on a population, on like an apartment building, so all, they can only come to me and pay me to kill these bed bugs. Because I'm the only one with the cure. But, but Inspired by Ed and Eddie. You're, you're going to breed them? Yeah. You, you're going to feed them your blood? What do you mean? That's what they eat. Blood? They, yeah. Yeah. No, they don't. Yeah. Give them like iceberg lettuce. Why do you think they bite you? Iceberg lettuce. They eat your, they're like ticks, but in your bed. Well, okay. I, I'm sure the dark web got some blood too. You buy some blood samples. Pour it in there. So I'm going to breed them to be resistant to the common methods of eradication. All right. And I'm going to give them a weakness. Like, you know, peanut butter breath or some shit. Nobody's going to breathe on them after they eat a peanut butter sandwich. Who does that? It might be more common than you think. When's the last time you like just ate a peanut butter sandwich and went to your couch and was like. <laughs> last night. I don't even want to know what you'd be doing. Is that not genius? Yeah. So you got like a get rich quick plot here. I mean, not quick. That's the, that's time. You know, I don't know how long it takes to breed things in and out of things. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, <laughs> you need like a hundred generations of bed bugs. Yeah. Like I don't fucking know how how quickly they reproduce and how that's gonna happen. I don't really know. I don't know. What's what it? in AP Bio we uh we spliced the gene of some fucking bacteria and made them glow in the dark. So maybe you could do it pretty quick. I don't know. What the fuck? It was pretty fucking cool. Sounds like y'all just created COVID. I'm not going to lie. Did that shit? Nah, that was 2009, 2010. Yeah, they've been breeding it. That's how long it takes. <laughs> fucking 11 years. It took overnight. So in 11 years, I'll have something. I'm going to release bed bugs onto the world. That's, uh... And it's going to be like some Jurassic Park shit where it gets wildly out of hand and I can't treat the amount of people that have these things and I, I'm just fucked. And then I can create a utopia and charge people $10 a month to live in it. $10 a month? Yep. It, this is this is like Austin Powers. One million dollars. <laughs> like ten dollars a month. Yeah, Netflix does it. They're billionaires. I mean, you're charging people to live in a city. You gotta pay for all the infrastructure and shit. You gotta nah, build we, the city. Th we we don't need that. We just don't have bed bugs. That's what we offer. You want bed bugs? Go out there. You yeah, don't but you gotta in. you gotta build this. I just put my hand in the water. <laughs> God damn it. Bed bugs. What you got for us? You got anything? Well, yeah. What would be your superhero plot? So mine um, they're not like to make money. The fuck? Imagine you're an author. Nobody reads anything. You're just broke as fuck. Yeah. Nobody right, watches like, this podcast. Why would they read my book? You exactly. Know? They <laughs> damn. Like I'm gonna fucking subscribe. <laughs> if you got this far, just hit the fucking like button. So I'm an author. Yeah. Nobody buys my books. All right. I somehow fall into a vat of radioactive acid, and get powers. Right? Did you take this from DC? No, no, no. Inspiration. Oh, from, uh, inspiration <laughs> directly ripped. So from. instead of being the Joker, I'm now the puppet author. Okay, everything I write, I force people to act out. 
Like, I could write anything and people just act it. So I could be in the middle of New York City and just write, like, oh, flash mob. And everybody in Times Square is now fucking dancing. Mm. No, you don't like that? With I great power becomes <laughs> great responsibility. I feel like that's hilarious. You were also responsible with it. Flash mob. That's it. Just all this power, flash mob. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought of that wasn't dark. So, <laughs> But, like, you could do whatever you want. You could walk into a bank and write, like, you know, give me a million dollars. And then just do it. <laughs> and like it's not even a threat you know like you know those parodies of like where they have all the superheroes that are like the top notch in the upper echelon of superheroes yeah. and then they have the shitty ones that are like broke as fuck that's the, you the puppet author you're the shitty <laughs> superhero that like hates everything yeah and but, that's your origin story that's how you become a super villain but I, I i'd be the one that they come to when like they can't figure something out and they're just like yo we can't like get into this fortress it's impenetrable I'm like uh, open the door <laughs> and they just open how'd it. you do that <laughs> i wrote it down like this this is very versatile like you think on the surface like i thought about this i was like no that's dumb then you start thinking about it and like you could do you could be a hero or a villain because, like, I could just write whatever the fuck I want. That's a lot of writing, though. Never got to work again. I'm an author. So how are you ever going to write a book? No, now I don't. Your dream's done. Matt, now all I have to do is write down everybody buy my book, and they buy my book. Yeah, but they're also going to be doing everything that's in your book. Oh, shit. So your book better not be some crazy <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't think this through. Oh, everything spirals. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Same thing like the bed bugs. It just gets out of fucking hand real quick. But honestly, I feel like... I don't know why I just thought of this. It, it, it's it's more scary if I don't actually have superpowers. Like, you just snap, kidnap people, and just, like, force them. Like, you write a play and force them to fucking, you know? Like, that's like a serial killer origin story. Same as Rubs the lotion anymore. on the skin. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you will act, or I will cut your fucking pinky off, all right? <laughs> like, well, then like, how am I going to be able to act? You don't need a pinky to act. You need balance. Walk. Those are toes, But you trying hand? No, I'm leaving motherfuckers walking on their hands. No, I, 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 didn't thought write, pinky, I thought of Pinky, though. I didn't write that in my play. That makes me think, though. What are some, like, non... To not kill humans, some supervillain shit that you can do? Like, force everybody to read the terms of service before they, they use something? Like, can, the whole fucking thing? Get, like, quizzed on it before they can use anything? I can do that. Nobody would use shit. I know. I can do that. Yeah, you could do that. I could just write it down. Terms of service, bitch. Read, read this. Or, like, release everybody's um search history. I could also do that. I feel like that wouldn't be as bad as you think, though. Because it's everybody's. So no one's going to care about Joe Schmoes. They're going to care about, like, Drake's. That's true, yeah. That's true. And, like, the president's. That's true. And, like, nobody would use it against you. Because, like, if you're like, yo, Bobby, what the fuck? You wrote, you searched for this. Like, motherfucker, you searched for this. And let me, it would just, everybody would just be out there. Even if you're not searching weird shit, like, like tentacle porn and stuff, I know. It's not weird. And it, that's, that's an inside it's, voice, bro. It's, it's You're inside. Yeah, that's, that's intrusive <laughs> thoughts right there. You're not supposed to act on those ones, bro. Um, nah, but like everybody can think of like a situation where like you're you're just talking to your friends and some weird ass fucking topic comes up and you search some out of pocket, out of context shit that like looks really bad if it was just there. It's like, well, let me explain why I searched, you know, how much can fit in a butthole, you know? Go to butt sharpies on Reddit, but it, it's a different, different story. <laughs> <laughs> they just put sharpies in their butt. <laughs> as many as they can. It's hilarious. Anyway, uh, I was at the uh, at a, a, t- a smokehouse, like a summer barbecue or whatever. Okay, it's just fucking <laughs> sharpies and ass to smokehouse summer. No, no, what? No, 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 no. So we were talking. I forgot how I came up. I was talking to the uh, coworker. Thank you. I this motherfucker name drops every fucking episode. And I have to beep it out. And I don't remember what how it came up, but I searched for uh, uh, dick popsicles. <laughs> of course, you don't know how it came up. That, that's something that, like I was saying, needs the context. Like you can't just say I don't know how it came up because that motherfucker's imagination. This is like this is like 2018. I don't remember. So I searched dick popsicles and like you got pictures. You know, there's a bunch of dick popsicles, right? You know, like like molded chocolate dicks and like dick ice cream cones oh, and shit. So. I was even thinking that. It's like a dick on a fucking stick. No, 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 no. Like a popsicle, you know? But a dick. A dick, a dick shape. Okay. So then I go to work <laughs> on Monday. And I got to look something up for work and I'm with my boss. <laughs> I open up my phone. <laughs> That's the first thing that popped up. Oh, like the picture? You even can't. <laughs> not even assert. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was like, Nick, what the fuck? I was like, I can explain. But I couldn't explain because I was just like this. I was this just like, where like, no one's going to believe you anyway. So it's just like, all right, yep, no. Nope. I wanted some dick. <laughs> shit. You should have just looked oh. at him dead in the eyes. What I do on my free time is none of your fucking concern. Dude, okay? I was just, I was dying. That shit was hilarious. Make him feel bad about me. 
thinking it's weird. Okay, I got another one I saw on Reddit. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it like it's me, but I found this on Reddit. It goes it's Christmas of ninety eight. The only present I got was a corn cob. Not corn. Just a cob. What? I love I love that corn cob. What is what is that? It's a it's a it's a corn it's... cornless cob. It's a cob without the corn. Oh, so someone ate the corn? Apparently. And then gave it to him. It's a corn cob. So they gave him trash. He got <laughs> trash for Christmas. Christmas. Okay. I love that corn cob. I mean, it's either that or cry, so. I need them peaches. Why peaches? It's a weird corn name. <laughs> like Corn Julio? I got attached to that corn cob. And then my mother threw them out. Because it was trash. <laughs> yeah, but that's the only gift you gave them? Like, I feel like that would turn me evil. And then it was like. That's either, your origin story? And then it's like either that or the time that my mom killed my cat and then fed him to me. That's oh, not no, even felt a... my rabbit. My rabbit. It fed him. Oh, I was about to say, a cat's not even a feedable animal. It <laughs> killed my rabbit and fed him to me. <laughs> so between the corn cob and the rabbit feeding, I, I think this person has a pretty pretty good... Uh, yeah, reason. but like the only fucked up part about that is that the real world, that's just a serial killer origin story, not a super villain. Well, I mean... Like, you're not going to have that kind of past and grow up to make people read the terms of services. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's like Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. That's, that's like... That corn cob was like Plank. But uh, if... Plank's a little bit better than corn cob. It's, they're both trash. Well, Plank at least is a piece of wood that he drew a face on. Like, Corn Cobb is like... I didn't need him. Plank. Someone ate this shit and gave it to you. What if I, like, bit an I apple mean, and was like, Happy birthday, Nick. Well, I mean... Name then, it fucking roses. I'd probably have a pair. That's all the time we have today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more I saw. I read it. It was a news story. It was a boy born with two penises, and the doctor cut off the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'd sue, bro. Like, that's just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, come on. That guy's projecting. That that doctor was pissed. He's like, I don't even... Have, I barely have one. Man was born with two? Was the smaller one significantly small? I mean, I don't know. It Was it was, was, it, was it like a that situation, or was I, it like a that situation? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was, it was still a baby. So like I you know I don't I don't really know a couple centimeters I mean hey a couple centimeters going a long way but yeah I, I saw that I thought that was hilarious I'm I mean like, yeah, first of all I don't even I, if I was a doctor I wouldn't even tell nobody she was deformed but honestly I was just going around with two dicks I think if my son was born with two dicks I'd be like God bless them today keep the two dicks you know like a two headed snake is more sought after same shit two headed dick I feel like that would it'd be complicated though depending on Which the arrangement Pierre. Well, that, number one, if you pee at it both, you're fucked. Are they on top of each other? On the sideways? Is one coming out of one? Diagonal. Yeah. I don't know. But so like, like, but like that would also, yeah, you basically just got udders. And then like that, like, like logistically, you try to have sex. One of them's going to get in the way. Unless you shove them both in there. But like. Yeah, girth, baby. No, but then they're, then, then they're fucking angulated. And like, that's got to be painful. One in the pink, one in the stink. That's if they're, they're far enough apart because the, the pink is here. The stink is here. It's underneath. So you got to have like. I feel like if you, you got know, two dicks, you get creative. I feel like logistically speaking, that's not really going to work out too well. Mm. Like fucking her belly button with the top one. Like, I just, <laughs> <laughs> like, I just feel like this is just not going to work. <laughs> Maybe you're into that shit. <laughs> no, I feel like that's pain. It would hurt. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, doctor, that doctor's projecting. Doctor that doctor got a little dick. Doctor Doolittle. Doctor yeah. Dick Little. Like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. It goes a long way, and we love you for it.